Hello and welcome to Men's Local Academy. So in this video, we are going to look at how we using Python program language can make a simple password generator. So basically, in order for us to do this, a very few lines of code is actually needed. Let's take a look at it together. So we have one method here, which is our main method for generating password. Here we define the, the length of the, the method. Uh, and <coughs> then we simply just take uh, a different set of uh, string uh, characters. So we have the ASCII letters, we have digits, and we have punctuations. And then we combine all those, and then we say that our password here will just take a random choice of the characters here in uh, the range of the length that we have specified, and then we'll simply just return the password. And that's basically all we need for this simple method here. We then, when we run the script, we'll do so in a, a few uh, seconds. We will simply ask the user for input. So we'll say into the desired length of the password. So asking the user uh, length of password you like based on the usage uh, and use uh, case for the password. Then we'll have a simple check saying that if the length that the user provides is less than one, we'll say that, hey, the password must be at least one character. You can change this to, for example, six. So we can make a simple check here saying if it's less than six, then it has to be at least six characters long. Again, this can be specified as you deem necessary. And then we say else, so meaning that it is above, uh, or it is six characters or above. We will call this uh, generate method here and store the value uh, in this variable generate password and simply then just print the password. So let's try this. So if we run this here, it will say into the side length of password. Here we can say 30 characters. And then it will simply just uh, generate a password for us that is in total 30 length, a length of 30 uh, long. And that include uh, special, char special characters, digits, uh, uh, numbers, etc. Et so that's an easy way for you to play around with a password generator. You can then extend or modify upon this. You could probably create a, a way for this to be stored in a file. We have a, a video here on the channel for how to encrypt file, and then you can actually start to make your own little password manager that can both generate uh, passwords, it can encrypt the, the host file or the main file where the password is stored, and then you can have a password manager that is not connected to any central service, but is controlled by you as the owner of the encryption key. So this was all for this little video. Remember to like and subscribe, and then I'll see you next time here on Vince Look Academy.